Hello and welcome to this tutorial, which takes you through using version 2.0 of Tokyo Pipinator, the advanced yet simple to use picture in picture effect for Final Cut Pro 10 that gives you powerful animation capability without any need for keyframing. So let's take a closer look. I've got two clips on my timeline, a background and an action clip, and I'm going to go to the browser and select Elasticator from the Tokyo Pipinator main menu. The new Elasticator module is where you'll find all the new features of Pipinator 2.0 and it's essentially an enhanced version of the Pipinator Pro module. The principal new feature of Elasticator is the ability to add a bounce or spring-like behaviour to your picture-in-picture -picture animations. Let's start with a very simple example. I'm going to come down to the Elasticator controls and use the Y position elasticity slider to create a vertical bounce. I'll try a value of 120. So let's see what that looks like. By default, the animation behaves as though the image is hitting the floor and bouncing back. But if I prefer, I can turn off the vertical bounce and then we'll get a spring-like behavior instead. We can choose to turn off either the horizontal or the vertical bounce, or both. Let's look at some of the other options. We can control the elasticity of both the X and Y position, the X, Y and Z rotation, the X and Y shear, and the X and Y scale. I'm going to cancel out the Y position value and add some Y scale elasticity instead. If we play that back, it now looks as though the image is deforming as it hits the ground, which is just what I want. This is because the default anchor point for rotation, shear and scaling is set to the bottom edge. But if we're looking for a different result, we could use the anchor point selection menu to choose from a wide range of different options. Here's an example where I've got a title arriving from the left of the screen and appearing to bounce off the right edge and I've done that by simply selecting Right Edge from the Anchor Point menu. Finally, let's look at two other new features in Pipinator 2.0. The first is the improved reflection control. You can now blur the reflection using a naturalistic looking blur effect that gradually falls off the further it gets from the source. The reflection effect now also comes with a new floor adjust parameter. If we step through the arrival phase of the animation in this example, we can see that the reflection doesn't sit accurately on the artwork floor during the first few frames, and that doesn't look plausible. However, if we come to the floor adjust slider, we can correct that, and Pipinator will automatically do the calculation to keep the reflection at floor level. One final improvement in Pipinator 2.0 is to the Drift function. If you're already familiar with Pipinator, you will know that this adds an extra layer of movement after the arrive phase of the animation. In this example, I've got a positional drift that by default runs for the duration of the whole clip. But suppose I wanted the drift to stop earlier. Well, I can now do just that by adjusting the drift stop value I'll set it to 0.5, which means the drift will come to a stop exactly halfway through the clip. So there you have it. Pipinator 2.0 adds even more functionality to make your picture-in-picture -picture animations better than ever. As you can see, you've got huge amounts of control right at your fingertips, and all without having to keyframe a single parameter. Tokyo Pipinator 2.0 with Elasticator is available exclusively through Effects Factory. And you can download a fully functional demo right now to try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.